Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Gabriella Pagan. Here are your 41 Action News headlines. A West Peculiar firefighter died in a house fire. Missouri Highway Patrol confirms crews were fighting a heavily involved house fire. This was on Deer Run Road when the flames got too intense. The firefighter who died fell through the floor into the basement. Crews were evacuating the structure when the roof collapsed. And a man was found shot to death on North 34th Street. This was in KCK, happening just after 2.30 Sunday morning. Officers found a man with several gunshot wounds who later died at the hospital. Police have not identified him yet, but if you know anything, please call the tips hotline. And seven people were displaced after a house fire on Bennington Avenue. Emergency crews were called out to 1052 Sunday morning. One firefighter suffered a minor burn to the side of his face. All seven people inside that home were able to get out safely. However, four adults and three children are now getting help from the Red Cross. Your forecast is next. I'm meteorologist Gerard Bailey. We're going to be looking at some mild temperatures continuing as we head into tonight and Monday. Now it's going to be a bit chilly tonight. We likely drop into the 20s in many spots. Some clouds will move in tomorrow, so not quite as much sunshine as we had today, but still not too shabby as we move toward the afternoon. We're still going to hit the 40s most everywhere, but maybe not quite as warm as what we saw today. It's keeping those temperatures uh, pretty warm all the way through the next several days here as we move ahead towards uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, reaching your 50 degrees. We could even be uh, in the upper 50s as we head to Thursday, but another chance of rain coming our way with our next storm system on Thursday. Then the cold air comes back with highs in the 30s on Friday and Saturday. Looks like Chiefs Kingdom will be uh, seeing some cooler air around on Sunday, but for right now, it doesn't look like we have any uh, chances for any precipitation. So that's the good news is most of that should be long gone by the time we get to game time on Sunday. Remember to get all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com.